everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with Lauren and we're going to be filming a review style thing of Universal Studios Hollywood, the VIP tour experience, because we did the VIP tour experience. Hopefully uh, the vlog will have been up a few days ago and hopefully you've watched that. If not, I will link it down here or up, up there. I'll point to that school you point to that one. Up somewhere. It'll be linked somewhere, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We had a really amazing time. Amazing, yeah. Um, I don't know why I said amazing again. Yeah, it was amazing, and I wanted to film this video because before we went and before we looked at doing the VIP tour, we looked on YouTube to see if there were videos of people trying to review it and say whether it was worth the money, and there weren't really many videos out there, and I thought... A few people have actually asked me whether it was worth it and I thought it would be worth doing a video, talking about our thoughts and just giving you guys what some information, what it includes, and then you can decide whether you think it's worth the money or not. So we did the VIP tour on Wednesday the 14th of August 2019. Uh, we were in California for three weeks, if you didn't know we did a huge trip. It was like a once in a lifetime trip for us as we're from the UK, it's very far to go. Uh, we've been to Universal Studios in Orlando many times and we know that Universal in Hollywood is very different. So when we were looking to book the tickets for this, there were three options. You've got the normal regular standard entry, which I think is about $200 for a day, which on its own is extremely expensive. And as we were going in the middle of August, we were like, well, we could get standard entry and not get on hardly anything because queues are going to be quite long. And because Jurassic World had just opened, we know that the queues for that had been up to two hours or even more. And we didn't want to spend two hours in a queue and it just seems like such a waste. We're, we're not the type of people with a queue. Uh, so <laughs> We get bored. <laughs> so then there's the next level up, which is like you get in Orlando, you get the Express Pass, which I think then, how much was that? Maybe 250 yeah. or something? It wasn't much more expensive. It's not too much more expensive. And we were like, oh, maybe that would be a good idea because then we get Express Pass and we can hopefully get to go on every single ride. And we were like, mm. And then we saw this other option, which was the VIP tour experience, which is what we ended up going with. So we paid, so this is a lot of money, we paid $369 each. And I know Somebody that is a lot like, of money. We're not rich in any sense of the word. We, we saved. saved a lot of money. And we thought this is a once in a lifetime thing. We may never go back to Universal in Hollywood. And for us, it was just something we were like, do you know what? We've worked very hard to save up for this trip. Let's treat ourselves and do it. Which is what we did. And we didn't really know too much about it. Because as I said, we looked and there wasn't too much. But based on what it said on the website, it just sounded like a very good deal. And as I said, if you're doing something once, you may as well go all out if you can afford it. And I thought this video would just really help people to know whether they want to spend that amount of money. Because if there's a family of four... That is a huge amount of money mm. and I know not everybody can afford to do it and I think Universal itself is just expensive in general. So yeah, we just wanted to do it so we made sure we got everything done and got all our money's worth and we didn't leave feeling like we wasted a day because we didn't actually get to do it. Mm. So with the tours you pick a tour time and I don't know when the tour, I think it starts up, depends on the time of year, I think they start at like from 7.30 mm. up until any time of day I think or is it the morning I think it's all morning you can get a tour so for us we chose the 8am tour because we thought that was early enough that we can get as much out of the money as possible but not too early that we couldn't get there and our advice would be get the earliest tour you possibly can do because the earlier you get to do to do your tour and finish your tour the longer time you get after us to spend in the parks so if you did your tour at 10 you might not finish until like five mm -hmm. and then you don't get as much time by yourself but because we had the eight o'clock we got extra time the park doesn't actually open till nine so the fact that we had eight we were in the park early it was brilliant so with the VIP tour there's like a special check-in desk as you get into Universal near the globe you walk past it it's like to the right of the main entrance gates I yeah believe. there's someone stood outside and there's just like a the person in the little thing. outfit with a little um, I can't remember they're called podium yeah that's a it. podium and they're just waiting to greet you and they'll ask you for your name um and i think they ask for id so I think you've got your tickets as well and your tickets so you need to make sure you bring a copy of id for, for whoever booked it 
and I think you have to bring normally you have to bring your credit card that you paid for mm. it, but I'm not sure they asked us. I don't think so, but, but I it had does say this. bring it, and I would because you know if they know. check, they might not allow you in. I'm not sure how it works, so always make sure you have your photographic ID and your credit card that you used to pay the, for the tickets, and then the actual tickets because obviously if you don't have the tickets, they'll go mm, no. You're not getting in. So then they walk you through to this little desk with people inside. They say, welcome to Universal. Have you, I think they say, have you been before? Yeah. And we said no, and they're like, oh wow, welcome. And then they just check your booking, check you in. And I think that's when they assign you to a tour guide. Um, and then we basically got given these lanyards. Lauren has got hers, mine is at home. Here you go, so it's this little lanyard that you basically have to wear around your neck and on the back, had the date <laughs> it has the date on it just to check that you can't go into the park and use this because this is obviously a, your express pass as well so you cannot lo lose this but you just hang it around your neck and then you get to keep it afterwards which is really nice so then you get seated into a room a very nice room. a very nice room i don't even know how it looks so like a lounge it, yeah it's like a lounge but it's just so comfy and luxurious and it's just it is. it's lush you're, you're meant to feel like you're a vip that is the point of the tour um, so in this lounge area there's sofas, there's tables, I think there's even an outside area to mm -hmm. eat the food. So basically you get breakfast included as part of the tour, which includes like pastries, muffins, fruit, uh, juices, water, tea, I think there's tea? Maybe yeah. not tea. Or co there's definitely coffee. There's definitely coffee. Hot drinks in general. Hot drinks and you can take them in takeaway mugs or have them there I think. Mm. There was bottles of water that you can take for the tour because they kept saying make sure you stay hydrated, it's baking hot outside, it was 30 degrees celsius I think mm. all day it which is warm. very hot and they were just saying make sure you stay hydrated because they don't want anybody getting ill or passing out so they have lots of water which is free which is really good because um, bottled water is very expensive. Um, I think we already had our own water with us. But we did use it later on We as did well. use it later on because we were trying to re like, not take too much plastic because the idea of bottled water is a little bit. So yeah it is really good they've got I think they had TVs on were they playing a film or something or clips I don't know. from films. Yeah I think it was clips. And you can just sit there and relax and your tour guide will come to you. And so what happened was your tour guide will enter the room and say right so does anyone have Tony? That was the name of our tour guide. So he says, who's, who's got Tony on their piece of paper, on their um, map. part map? And you go, oh, me. So I was actually in the toilet when Tony came to, to introduce, so I thought I'd go to the toilet before the tour to make sure I don't need a wee halfway through, because that would be awkward. So Tony came round. I mean, do you want to speak about what he said? Or Yeah, he just came and introduced himself, told us what was going to happen, asking us where we were from. He was just really nice. It was just a sort of informal chat to get to know them. So Yeah, because... Yeah. The point of the tour is your tour guide, you get to know them very well, you spend a lot of time with them and so they're re really friendly and they mm. have so much information mm. and yeah we got on really well with our we yeah. two tour guides which I'll explain in a little bit. I'm not sure if this works for every tour but on our tour, we have, we're at 8am, we basically merged our tour group with another tour group because on the tour buses it can fit two tour groups on and we went straight to the studio tour. We walked through the park. So we got to go into the park when there was nobody in it, because as I said, it was closed and it was so quiet. I couldn't even believe how quiet it was. I've never seen Universal that quiet. The only people we saw were like, people who were working there or so, I think. No, I think that was, that that was it. it. That there was, was no one. There was just people working there and us mm. walking through. And we went straight through the park to where the studio tour is. And we got straight onto our VIP bus. It's very nice. It's a very nice bus. It's slightly comfier than the normal ones. And on this bus there was a huge, big, like, freezer thing with ice in and more bottled water. And they said, take it whenever you want, if you get thirsty, just in case. And so we got to do the tour, which was one of the best parts of the whole day, to be honest. We were sat at the front. We were like, right. We were sat at the front like, <laughs> So our tour guys really liked us because we were answering the questions that they were asking and we were actually listening. That's one thing I would say, if you go on this tour, make sure you listen to your tour guides because they are giving you some very interesting information and you're paying for this experience. We found that basically everybody else in our group were talking through the tour guides mm. and it's very frustrating and I understand that a lot of our groups, we found out where everyone was from, a lot of them well, we were the only group from an English-speaking country. 
Everyone else was from uh, Israel, Austria, Austria, Italy, Italy, and then there's Japan or something. Yeah. Somewhere. So there was lots of people from various different places in the world, which is fine. But obviously, English isn't their first language, and I think some of them struggled with English at all. And if if you struggle with English, well, first of all, you probably aren't watching this video. But if you struggle with English, I think it's difficult because obviously everything is in English and there's a lot of information that you're taking in. Slight interruption. Slight interruption to the programme. But we are back. Think of about here. Or whatever. <laughs> but me. Right, so where was I? Yes, yeah, so interacting with your tour guides. It's just fantastic and you do learn lots of things and you can ask them anything. Don't Maybe, be afraid. Yeah. It's kind of hard for us because we're a bit shy sometimes. <laughs> um, and I find asking in front of other people, but then I realise half of them aren't listening, so. It is frustrating because they ask questions. They say, why do you think that? And I don't want to be the person that answers all the time. I want to give someone else a chance. But then you realise they're not even listening. So no. just go for it. Don't be afraid. Ask questions. Answer their questions. And yeah. So on the studio tour, you see so many great things. If you watch the vlog, you'll see more of that. I don't want to talk too much about that. Because obviously it changes. Depends when you go. A lot, a lot of things were filming on the day we were there. So there a lot of hot sets and a lot of things you can't go near. Yes, yeah, so there's lots of things filming. So they've got to be careful. You've got to be quiet. But the studio tour that you get to do is an extra hour to the one that you could do normally so you get to do extra things you get to get off the car and take pictures and actually see things physically it's just amazing it's really good it's so it's so worth it the actual studio tour was phenomenal you see costumes and sets and different cars and mm. uh, like the highlights for me were seeing the clock tower from back to the future and actually getting to get off and stand in the square and get a photo in front of it like back to the future is my favorite film ever and that was just like a dream and then we got to see this the set of the good place which was actually filming when we were there so we couldn't actually go on the set which i think mm. you can do now you should drive finished. through it i think but but the our tour guide was so nice and knew that how much i loved it and she let us and only us walk through and go closer to take pictures and she was like we're not letting anyone else do this and i was just like so it shows pay attention listen answer their questions yeah. be interested they, because they they want to give you the best experience but if you're not paying attention to them it's kind of like well, what can they do mm. but yeah you see so many great things and you i learned quite a lot of interesting facts and it was just fantastic really. yeah we got to go off as well and go into actually the props department so mm. we got to see rows and rows of props some had labels on which were going to be used for future projects so we could see that so it was just so good to see it was just so props. cool wasn't it yeah i know they're just chairs and things but it was really interesting mm. and yeah it was just an added bonus after the tour we went and rode some rides so we got to do transformers the mummy and jurassic world all found really good rides mm. i mean transformers kind of broke down when we were on it and we were like oh. uh. but we got front of the line and where the group the numbers were we just happened well, we had an entire Transformers car to ourselves. Yeah, it was so cool. Because <laughs> we were like, ah. But yeah, the ride kind of broke down, but we didn't really mind because we could have done it later on. But yeah. I'm not really a fan of Transformers anyway, so it didn't matter. We got to ride the Mummy, which was amazing. Loved it. Always amazing. The Orlando Mummy is fantastic, and this Mummy was just as good. They're different, but like they're both still amazing. Yeah, they're slightly different. The tracks are different. The way you drop and all this stuff. Mm. It's just so fun. I love the Mummy. And then we got to ride Jurassic World, which is so exciting because it's brand new. Obviously, it used to be Jurassic Park, and then it reopened in June to become Jurassic World. Um, Phenomenal. Just, it's just so good. The good thing about the tour is when you go on Jurassic World, each person gets a poncho to wear to protect yourself from the, the water because you get absolutely soaked on this ride, and I mean soaked. They would have seen the cliff of us when we went on it later yeah. on in the day. <laughs> you get drenched. So just a warning, if you are going to do it, and you're not doing the tour, have something to protect yourself because you will, and especially if you sit on the front row, you will get absolutely soaked, like. Which we did both times. Drowning in water. Although it's fun, it's yeah, very it's... fun. And the animatronics are amazing, and just. Like the storyline of it. It's just, just really good. I won't tell you too much if you, in case you haven't seen it and you want to avoid spoilers, but yeah, it was so, so good. So after those rides, it was about, it was quite early, it was like, Half eleven. Half eleven. Yeah. So we went for an early lunch at the buffet restaurant. I can't even remember the name of the restaurant that it was. I don't know, but it's just round the corner from Animal Actors. It was down like the street. Like the French street, wasn't yeah, it? By yeah, by Animal Actors. And it's literally just for those with the VIP experience, so no one else can go in there. No. 
just Only us. VIP, so you feel very special again. And um, as we walked into the room, Doc Brown was stood there and he was like, oh, guys, you're just on time, where have you been? And it was just like, and we were like, okay. what? <laughs> and he kind of walked us to a table. To a table, because yeah. he said, do you want to sit outside? So we sat outside, which was lovely. And we got, we got a, lovely, a really yeah. good view of Hollywood, which was really cool, and it's as you would have seen. And the buffet was just super good. There's so much choice, and as a vegetarian, I was really pleased that there was enough food for me to eat. Because sometimes it's the case where it's just not a lot potatoes and veg i mean it was a lot of potatoes and veg carbs. and rice and a lot of carbs but i was happy with that because i needed the energy for a park day but there were loads of desserts you could was it make your own crepes no the crepes were you make folded the... on like a hot plate with nutella in so they were warm mm, crepes okay but they were making yeah. the, pla the crepes yeah. in front of you there were loads of desserts it was like creme brulee yes I had chocolate dip strawberries yes it was so good and there's unlimited water unlimited cans of drink there was they had like lemonade as well like homemade lemonade, homemade lemonade fresh lemonade it was, it was just really good and it's you get to be there for about an hour so you can eat as much as you want fill your boots yeah we made the most of that we ate a lot mm. i felt so full i ate so many chicken nuggets <laughs> chicken dippers things it was, it was good food as well. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, but it was very, very good food. And loads of meat, fish, mm. even the starters, they had sushi, I think. Yeah, and, and they had cheese, little cheese bits. and There's so much to choose from, so if you're a fussy eater, I think there's still definitely There'll be something for, for everyone, I think. I really liked it because you got enough time to actually get your money's worth, so mm. you're not just rushed and like, ah, quick, I'll just eat one thing. You can have as much as you want. You just have to go back and meet your tour guide at a certain time in the chosen location, mm. which obviously is not a problem. One thing that was very strange about this uh, restaurant, sorry, my knees and shoulder, is there were just characters. Right? It, was, it was like a character a dining. Character dining meal, which we didn't know. So that's a thing. Be warned, there may be characters roaming around. So we had Dot Brown, Dracula, and Lauren saw Marilyn Monroe, but I had gone to the toilet at this point. And so when I came back, she had gone. Mm. They just come around and they were just chatting with us at literally every table they went to and just chatting with you. Yeah, like, hi, you know, and then... We got a picture with Dracula. He was really scary and I was like, what? Was it, what? We just didn't expect it. So, no. be warned. I don't think it's a set character. I think they just rotate with the random characters that you can meet in Universal, so it could be anyone. But that's who we mm, had at yeah. that time. But the toilets in there, if you do go to the VIP lounge, use the toilets in there. They are a thousand times nicer Cleaner. than the park toilets. They're like proper big, with a door and an actual sink and everything in the toilet, rather than those dodgy cubicles with the gaps in that kids look in and wet floors. And yeah, because we went to one later on in the day. Yeah. yeah. Theme park toilets are never nice because it's lots of people are using them and lots of kids are using them and it's just. Yeah. So use the toilets in the VIP lunch when you can restaurant because they're nice, really, really, really nice. So then after dinner we arranged to meet Tony at some time at a bench. Yeah. And we went and met him and we went and continued to do the rest of the attractions in the park and we literally did every single attraction. We didn't do every single show. So the only two things we didn't do with Tony was Animal Actors Show and the Special Effects Show. Yes. But he said, if you want to do that, you're going to have like six hours after we finish and you can go do that when you want, if you want. And we had our express pass so we could skip the line as well. Yeah. So. And so we did everything else. We watched Waterworld, which was really fun. Uh, we saw like the Kung Fu Panda weird 4D experience, yeah. which was something. Um, we did every single ride. Minion. Minion Mayhem. I'm trying to remember some of the rides now. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. But get all the rides. Get all the rides done. And then you finish the... Oh no, one thing we got made to do was one of the girls in our group said she really wanted to do the Walking Dead attraction. And so Tony was like, oh come on, then we'll go do that. Um, the good thing is, if you don't want to do a ride, you're not forced onto anything. So you can sit it out and just wait outside, or you can go go through the queue with Tony and then leave, leave with him, because he doesn't go on the rides with anybody. He just comes in the queue with you. So I was also gonna add, like, at Universal, you have to, most of the time you just put your bag in lockers. But if with Tony, you give him your bags and he'll hold your bags so you don't waste time with lockers. He will look after, or your tour yeah. guy will look after your bags, which is great. Yeah, which is really good, especially if you have a backpack and obviously you need to put it in. He'll just, yeah, I'll hold it, that's great, I'll keep it safe. And then mm. he does, you know, it's, it's great, it's just so nice. 
if I feel a bit cheeky though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, well, here's my bag while I go have some fun on this ride. But that's literally their job. So mm. yeah, so we went on the Walking Dead attraction, which is like a walk through maze thing with live actors, like Halloween Horror Night style. No, never again. I literally a man ran like a zombie ran at me, and I was like. <laughs> I was feeling it. a little bit brave to begin with, and then when it in there, I was like, no, I hate this. Yeah, Lauren was like, yeah, it's fine. And then as soon as we went in the door, she, was like, she was like this. I was like, oh, seriously, so you're putting me first. Me. I jump at everything. So, yeah, that was just not not, no. not great. I wouldn't no. do that again. So once you've done all the attractions, you end the tour. Well, we did. I'm not sure if this is the same way around, but you end the tour in Hogsmeade, and you get to walk around Hogsmeade, and you get to go on to... What are the rides? Flight of the Hippogriff. Flight of the Hippogriff. That's been Which journey. is obviously the little... Harry Potter and Forbidden Journey, which is great, and it's also great because he's holding your bag, so you don't have to faff about with the Harry Potter lockers, which are always, always a bit of a and annoyance because there's always just people stood in the room way. for no reason. So yeah, that was good. So you end the tour there, and the last thing that we did, and I think most tours do, is you go to do the wand choosing ceremony in Ollivanders, and again you skip the line because normally there's quite a long line for that. And there was like a 25 minute queue I think there was. And we've never actually done that before so the fact we just got to skip in and do it. We didn't get chosen or anything but it's just, cool it's just a nice experience. Yeah that was really fun and, and at that point as we went through the door we said goodbye to Tony. Which, which looked which, sad about. Which was sad <laughs> but we gave him a tip. Um, you don't, you have, don't to. have to but we thought the amount of time he'd spent with us, we'd been with him since like eight in the morning and we finished at what, three? Was it, was it half two, three? It was three. Was it three o'clock? Yeah, I think it was three o'clock. Was it actually? I don't know. Yeah, he said three. It was yeah. not three. Yeah, so we finished about three. So that's like seven hours of a day. Right, so we gave him like a nice tip and he said thank you and everything. And then after Ollivanders, we came out. And, and it was us. <laughs> it was just us. And we got to do whatever we wanted. We rode plenty of rides again we got to I got went and had a frozen butter beer because mm. I'd really wanted one since last time we've been at Universal I loved them we went in the shops and had a look around we watched animal actors we watched animal actors because that was something I really wanted to watch we love animal actors we do we, we met Spongebob <laughs> we met Spongebob because he was just there yeah and it was just great doing we did the mummy loads of times express pass was amazing it was it they was, just so on the back you've got a barcode and they literally just scan, just scan it and Go, go through. through and a lot of the time when they see that you've got the vip they're like oh and they kind of let make sure you get in the queue yeah sometimes they cut off the express pass to let some normal mm. queue people in but yeah you do get treated like a celebrity it's like oh okay it's just yeah amazing yeah i, th I feel like we definitely got our money's worth we the definitely amount of did. rides we did well we did every ride we were there till perhaps we, we were there till closing weren't we yeah, we were there till closing and then we went and did um city walk, city walk. But it was just fantastic and I think where it's only one day and I think if we had not had Express or VIP or whatever just queuing for everything we might not have got it, get it, got it done because Jurassic World was two hours all day mm. and two hours does take out quite a large chunk of your day. The studio tour queue gets to like an hour sometimes and, and it's it, an hour long and then it's well. an hour long so that's like four hours for Jurassic World and the studio tour there gone. Mm. And then you have got to factor in time to get your own breakfast, get your own lunch. And the movement between the parks, because obviously they've got the lower lot and the upper lot with those ridiculously yes. long escalators. escalators. Which is why we did, our studio tour, we did the rise at the bottom first. And, and then, then made our way up, which is a tip I would say, do the lots in separate bits. So do everything on the lower lot that you want to do and then go back up. Um, did we get any dinner? We did. We did. So we, we also ate at the Jurassic world restaurant which name has escaped me no i can't remember but it's in the vlog and that was really good and we got a drink at isla new bar we had some cocktails which was super good which is why it's really nice to have then the time that you want to do what yeah have time to do what you want to do which because you're not like oh i really want to do this but i can't mm. it's like you've got loads of time we had like six hours to do whatever we wanted mm. and because we basically done well, we had done everything it was just a few, couple of shows and then just do anything you want to do again and yeah it was just I loved it. Yeah, that we had such a great day. It was, it was great. And I think we've covered I everything. I think so. Um, I really enjoyed Universal Hollywood. I like the fact that actual films are filmed there and TV shows. It makes it really feel... There's just something added to it. And just walking down the streets and seeing the lots is just... It's, it's crazy. Amazing. And the view you get when you're going up and down the escalator and you see... this. Hollywood and you can see Warner Brothers Studios from there 
you can see the Disney Studios. Yeah. But from a certain point. Yeah. But it's just vast. It's just amazing. Mm. And I really enjoyed myself. It was just a really fun day. Mm. It was without hands down. Yeah, worth the money. Worth all the time we spent there. Yes. Yeah. And Great. we think it's worth it, but obviously as it is such a huge amount of money, it's something people have to really consider, and we understand it's not affordable for everybody. Because I guess if you're a larger family, it is going to be a lot of money. Yeah, Whereas, there was a few families of four, yeah. and we were like, oh, and they were the ones that were hardly do, like listening. It was like, you've spent all this money. like. Well, there was one family of four who left after lunch. Like, they left the park. They were, they were flying home. Yeah. And we were like... Was that worth spending over twelve hundred dollars? It was nearly twelve hundred dollars for four of you, and they didn't no, actually no, more than that. There's four of them, because it was like three hundred seventy dollars. That's like nearer fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, but that just didn't seem worth it. But it's so worth it if you're gonna spend every single hour at the park until closing. And if you like rides, if mm. you don't like a lot of the rides, it's probably a bit pointless because you're gonna skip them out. Yeah, be waiting a lot while the mm. rest of the tour group are on the rides. But the difference between Hollywood and Orlando Universal is there isn't as many like big roller coaster rides. Mm. In fact, there's none. No. Like, the Mummy's roller coaster and Hippogriff's a roller coaster, but, but they're that's not. About it. The Hippogriff's a kiddie roller coaster, so anybody could do that. And the Mummy's probably the only one that maybe you might mm. be unsure of because it's in the dark. But it's a great ride. If you don't like roller coasters, I promise you, you'll probably enjoy the Mummy. It's it's really fun. Mm. There's not many like massive drops or no. anything, so. But yeah. So that is our review onto the VIP tour. We really enjoyed ourselves. We would recommend it to anyone if you can do it. Um, Especially if you're only going to go there once and yeah, want to tick everything off. That's what our reasoning was. We're going to go there once. We may as well just pay a bit of money and do it. Mm. And I know, again, that's not realistic for everyone. But if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to know. But yeah, we loved it. and. So say if you've got any other questions, put them below for Becca to answer. Yes, if there's anything I didn't cover or you didn't quite understand or it didn't make sense, just leave a comment down below and I will answer it as best as I can. Um, but I think we've covered everything. Yeah, we can think possible. of all. Um, and there's the vlog. Obviously, you can actually see it. Yeah. So if, you, if if you're not sure, watch the vlog. It's a good one. Um, <laughs> yeah. So hopefully that helped you if you are looking to do it. And as I said, if you have any questions, ask me. But hopefully, I've given you enough information and you can make a decision. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And I will see you very, very soon for a, another video.